Hey everyone, I'm Layla Spitani and this is the TV Land Awards All Access. Hey everybody, this is Best Night In. The Video Music Awards. I'm here with one of the show's super hot stars, Betty White. <laughs> we both got the memo. We got the memo. Layla! No, no, <laughs> wait! Oh my god, I'm brilliant. You are brilliant! You're ahead of yourself and you I have beautiful so earrings. I am so ahead of my time. Well, you would expect the Video Music Awards fashion statements to be a little bit outrageous. You're working with their Southwestern yeah, yeah, you, know. you notice that? Yeah, I'm Boquisha. Okay, so you take us into I this. I wish I was showing a taste. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. never going to get a question in, no, ever, right? Not. When you come across a spider, like in your bedroom, bathroom, do you love it, embrace it, or scream like I do? I genuinely have one time been like, hey, what's up, man? Did you try any of her products before diving into this role? I mean, every single thing, I'm like, oh, I need that. Yeah. I need it. <laughs> kind of the least we can do is eat, you know, kale for a couple minutes. <laughs> kale, that's a superfood. Well, there you go. Maybe I was just super healthy. <laughs> can we do a little game? If you yeah, don't mind, course, a little quick fire games. game. Okay. We made a list of names and we're gonna give you guys the final call as to if they're naughty or nice. All right, what do you okay. think? Ready? Jennifer Aniston. Naughty. Nice. Ooh. TJ Miller. Naughty. Ah, I thought so. Slimy, dirty. <laughs> Courtney B. Vance. Nice, but I suspect there's an extremely dark side there. We all saw it in this film, didn't we? When extraterrestrials land on planet Earth thousands of years from now, which they will, are they gonna look at our emojis with the same wonder that we look at the Egyptian hieroglyphs? Yes, it is a type of hieroglyphics. Who are you most excited to see for all the reunion? I love seeing Pee Wee Herman. I never thought I would meet Aretha Franklin in my lifetime. The Waynans, the Vernon Shirley. You are no stranger to hosting the TV Land yeah, Awards. That's this is right. your second time. My second time, every five years, they get desperate enough to ask me to host. Are we going to see you doing a little tequila dance tonight? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to give it away. You never know. I've done it in the past. What stories do you think Murphy Brown would be covering today? Anything to do with the election. We were doing things on TV that had never really been done before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have some babies. Tell <laughs> I am Andre Tucker, and thank you for coming to Star Net Studios. It's good to have you here. Today, I am speaking with Miss Layla Spitani. She has been very busy in acting, hosting, teaching. She has had a lot going on. She has worked on TV series. She's worked on film. She has hosted red carpet events, and it's very good to have her here. How are you doing today, Layla? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. And I'm also wildly impressed that you pronounce my name right. You're one of the few people that gets it right at the first time. So bravo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. So um, one of the things I forgot to mention when I was introducing you just to get into something is one of the many things you've done is uh, commercials. And uh, one thing that you worked on was, for example, Bell Tire. And I know that Bell Tire, you were a longtime representative and spokesperson for them. And I know they are, I believe, based in Michigan. So that said, let me ask you, do you have any kind of roots or connections to Michigan at all? Or was it just you just did that campaign for them and that was it? Basically. You would think that I would, um, but no, I actually auditioned for that commercial when I was still in college and I was going to University of Miami in Florida. Um, but the company was based in Detroit, Michigan and had traveled to Florida to shoot the first series of six commercials. Um, and I got cast one. I mean, there were six commercials, six different actors doing different types of commercials for them. But for whatever reason, Mine kind of took off. People resonated with my character, and I ended up working with them and doing multiple years of commercials with them from like 19. I'd have to look at my website to even remind myself. You might know because you did your research, but it started in like 97 and then ended in the 2000s. I think, it, do you remember 2005, maybe? I was thinking, I mean, I think 2000, well, it could be 2005. I thought 2003, but you, but That's it's probably, probably five. No, you're probably right. <laughs> it's been a while. But then there was this long break and they brought the bell tire girl, they call me the bell tire girl, back. 
in 2012 and I got to come back and do a whole new round of commercials and go back to Michigan and meet the fans. It's pretty funny that you can create fans from doing a commercial, but I was just on the air for so long and doing so many commercials. We were doing about 12 a year. And so people just got used to having me in their home on TV with that commercial. It was a great, great, great experience. I have nothing but fond memories about the commercials, the company, and also Michigan and the people of Michigan themselves. Excellent. And did that end up the, the, the recognition from Bell Tire? Did that help lead to the other things? Because I mentioned you've done a lot of different uh, hosting opportunities that presented themselves. Did any of that kind of stem from the time on Bell Tire at all? Um, I mean, I think what happened was I went to college, University of Miami, and I studied um, theater. And I thought I was going to be a Broadway actress and then eventually be like the next Julia Roberts and move into film. And my career was set. Right. Um, but nothing ever happens as we plan it. <laughs> so after college, I moved to New York City to pursue the stage. But I ended up falling into TV and film almost immediately. I had done some TV when I was living in Florida, mm -hmm. um, but I got a lot more jobs in New York. Um, I got a TV hosting agent from one TV hosting job I had done while I was still in college down in Florida. And on the, I think it was the very first audition he sent me out on, I booked it. And it was a great, great job. It was for Metro Channels. Metro Channels is no longer around. Um, but at the time, it was a great gig. It was a teen talk show that I hosted for nearly three years. And that really was such a fantastic experience. It kind of snowballed into, I got started getting recognized for as a TV host and getting more work. I ended up getting Entertainment Tonight, doing stuff for E! and Style and multiple television shows across the board for cable television. So mm -hmm. it really, I, all my dreams of being the actress kind of got put on the back burner because so many TV hosting jobs were coming my way. I still did do the acting, I still do the acting, but the TV hosting definitely is is more in the forefront. And because of all those years of my TV hosting, I began um, teaching. Mm -hmm. I was being invited to be on panels, being invited to um, teach classes, do workshops at different universities and high schools. And so that has also taken off. And now I do coaching primarily as my main gig, um, teaching classes and doing private coaching. Now, when I know you've been doing the, the hosting and coaching, but you and then you just said that you had an interest in Broadway. So in those days when you were aspiring to be on Broadway, did you have any particular shows that you had your eye on? Or did you have any favorites that you either did perform in some way or at least kind of that uh, kind of stood out to you at all? Wow, it's been a long time since I've done live theater. And anytime I go and I see anyone doing live theater, I just feel like so nostalgic because that's how I started. I went to a performing arts high school in Central Florida called the Harrison Center for the Visual and Performing Arts, which has now, I mean, you may know who Karen Olivo is. She won the Tony um, for West Side Story. She was starring in Moulin Rouge on Broadway. She was a classmate of mine. So this school was a fantastic school for creating so many fantastic, so many of them have gone on to Broadway. Um, I didn't. <laughs> I did some off, 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 off Broadway shows. I did a lot of regional equity theater. I got my equity card doing, um, you know, regional theater, which was great and so much fun. Um, but, you know, once I came to New York, that just kind of all changed. And I did so much more TV and film, which I actually found it out. I found out I, I had a, a deep love for. So I actually now can say that I love film and TV more than theater for myself personally, because I'm mm -hmm. so much more experienced in it and more knowledgeable about it. And I just adore the process. Yeah, and you mentioned the uh, University of Miami. So uh, I would think that you would have roots in Florida, but did you grow up in Virginia before that? Is, is that right? I did. Good, good job doing your research. I'm from Northern Virginia, right outside of Washington, D.C. Um, we moved around a little bit around the metropolitan area of Baltimore and D.C. 
Um, I ended up going to that performing arts high school my junior year of high school in Florida and then stayed in Florida at University of Miami for college because my mom wouldn't let me go to New York. <laughs> I wanted to go to New York the second I graduated high school and she was like, no, 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 you're not going to New York. I'm not ready yet. So I went to college and the second I graduated, I hightailed it to New York City. All right. And you spent, you know, plenty of time hosting as we've discussed here. And now now let me ask you, one of the things that I enjoy being able to to, to speak to people doing Star Next Studios, which anyone who looks at when this was produced will pr probably see that it's like in its uh, still is relatively early stages and you have some um, some experience out there. So that said, you know, one of the things, like I said, I enjoy being able to do this and I enjoy speaking to people, uh, present company included. So when you are out there and when you are speaking to the guests that you get to interview, um, what is that? What is that like for you? Like how? Like how do you approach your your interviews and um, and when you're uh, coming up with your your questions on what you're going to do? Because I I know you teach, so some of <laughs> us are going to be looking for looking to you for uh, thoughts on your process and what what is it when you well, approach the them? most important thing is. And like you know, now even though you're in the beginning stages, is to do your homework. You really need to research your guest and you know know a lot about them so that you have thoughtful, insightful questions to ask. Um, and not just going in blind, um, doing your research, especially when you're dealing with celebrities, because not all celebrities are going to be kind and generous with you. And they've been dealing with the press for years. And sometimes they don't have a lot of patience. They're not always as friendly. Sometimes they're wonderful. Um, but you just got to go in being a pro, being prepared, having done your homework, knowing what they are there to promote, what they are going to want to talk about, and knowing what really is going to be off limits because if they don't want to talk about something and you ask them about that as we've all seen these kind of like you know spicy interviews where celebrities blow up at the the person interviewing them when they were asked something they didn't want to answer they mean it you know what i mean so yeah. you have to respect the person that you're interviewing right of yeah. course I, i'm always like for a really good interview and getting some really good information but you also have to be respectful to the person and that's like sitting across from you you know Right, right. And what are any other like one or two other key takeaways? Because you've put out a lot of different videos on what to do, what not to do. What are the, is the the other like one or two things that will stand out to you that you would want the people who see your videos out of all of them that you've done to be able to focus on the most? What's more most important to you, you think? As an aspiring TV host? As an aspiring TV host or or performer, whatever you want to go with. Okay, well, I mean, I teach TV hosting and on-air personality, so that's really my expertise, and it's one thing that I do know for sure. So I would say the most important thing is finding out what is going to make you stand out from the competition. Like, what is it unique about you that nobody else can offer that they're going to say, hey, I want to get that Andre Tucker because there's nobody like him, right? He is so unique. He has dot, dot, dot. What is it about you that your interviewing style, your personality, the types of shows and the content you're producing? Because nobody wants to go out and get another Ryan Seacrest or another Kelly Ripa or another, you name it, right? They want fresh, new talent. Somebody that's exciting and different and doing something that is unique and eye-catching, right? So that would be my number one recommendation is continue to find things that help you stand out in a world where we have so many people producing their own content now and putting it up online what's going to make yours really grab our attention that's right excellent so let me ask you this before we go here you obviously have your own website before we go here would you like to give that to us uh one one time to take sure. a look at Absolutely. For anything personal about the TV hosting work that I've done, everything's on LaylaSpitani.com. That's also where my commercial reel is and my acting reel. For anything as far as teaching, group classes, and private coaching for media training or anybody who wants to learn how to be on camera, I have TVHostTraining.com. And I have two upcoming group classes coming up. I have my intro to TV hosting class, which will start on September 14th. 
2021, depending on when you're watching this video. And then I have my um, more advanced class that I teach with my TV hosting agent, Mark Turner, who's vice president of A3 Artist Agency in New York City. And we're going to be teaching that on October 12th, 2021. So two really, really great opportunities. I also do private coaching one-on-one -on -one with people and I do it on Zoom mostly. And I've been doing that pre-pandemic just because I have clients all over the world. So it's a great way to work with people. Sounds great. Well, we'll all be looking forward to seeing that and I'm sure people will go looking for all of that great information that's uh, going to be available to them. So I just want to say thank you very much, Layla. It's been great having you on and look forward to seeing what you have next. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me.